Give me a sign, yeah. will everything be alright? Yeah. I need a sign, cause I don't wanna waste my time Sometimes I don't wanna wake up I feel tired in my bed, wanna lay up Watch TV and step out, fake love Let the drama unfold with my brain numb uh, Yeah, I'm still digesting Everything that's going on, second guessing So in today's video, I wanted to show you how I care for my post Lutheria or an outer, the fringed ornamental. But in general, like pokies, uh, the requirements are all pretty much the same or very, very similar. Okay, guys, so this is the post Lutheria or an outer, the fringed ornamental. Now, these are endemic to. Sri Lanka I believe um, these are actually the second largest pokey um, I believe the first is the um, red slate ornamental um, the post Lutheria rufalata but yeah this is the second largest of the pokies um, I believe uh, the Big females can sometimes nearly get to about 10 inches in leg span. Um, as you can see, these really are a stunning, stunning spider. Um, they've got the beautiful, beautiful yellow bands um, on their front feet. Um, but yeah, these are such a stunning, stunning spider. Um, Obviously these are an old world spider so we do need to take, give these the most utmost respect we can um, as their venom is very very potent, um, it is actually classed as medically significant um, so yeah we must treat these with the utmost respect. So temperature wise, you want to keep these guys um, around the 78 to 82 um, degrees Fahrenheit, um, give or take, um, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, humidity, um, I don't usually like to give a number on humidity as a lot of the time I believe people just chase the number and you really don't need to be doing that but yeah these guys like it more humid and it is important to keep these um, a lot more humid but yeah I don't really like to give numbers out I don't like chasing a number but if you must have a number I'd say around 70 to 80 percent humidity for these guys um, yeah, but just what a stunning, stunning spider. Um, I've actually got two of these, and um, out of all the pokies that I keep, I do find these um, are very bold, and I do find they're the less skittish out of all of the pokies that I keep. That's not to say that um, people haven't, you know, found these different. People have found these very skittish, and very very aggressive but I've not found that with these yet um, I'd say like my Metallica Metallica is a lot more skittish um, than these guys um, but yeah they're different you're gonna have a lot of people say different but that's what I've found with keeping these so far but yeah I think my favorite bit about these has got to be the yellow bands on the legs um, on the front legs but yeah, truly, truly, an absolute stunning, stunning spider. Sometimes you gotta let them go. Oh, 
I know it's hard, but you're better on your own. Oh, I know the scars got you feeling all alone. Oh, I know it's hard, but you gotta let them go. Oh, say it with me, everything is okay. Okay, so enclosures. Um, all of my pokies I've bought as slings, and most of the time I will start them off in these pots, which you can get from the spider shop or yeah, a lot of places. I think you can even get them on um, eBay. Um, but yeah, most of mine I've bought as slings, but they've come at a size where I can, you know, I've started them out in these just um, with the cheapest compost I can get and a bit of cork bark um, obviously you're gonna need uh, enclosure is gonna have to be taller than it is um, length for width ways as obviously these are arboreal um, obviously if um, you do get a very very small sling obviously as you know we'll all start off in the vial but yeah, I think it's one of my pokies I've had to start off in the vial. Most of them, um, yeah, I just use these. I think they're, I believe they're 520 mil or something like that. Um, okay, so these are some of the slings that I'm growing out now. Um, these aren't all an art, but. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same care for the pokies. But yeah, you can see what I've done here. Um, I've got the cheapest to cheap potting compost and a bit of cork bark. Um, and you know, what? I've had really good success to be fair with um, growing out these guys in these with this method. Okay, so most of my pokies now uh, in these, these are 5.8 litre bra plus tubs. Um, now these work fine for the minute, but all of my pokies will be upgraded into bioactive setups that will be coming soon on this channel as soon as I've sorted all my lighting out. But yeah, I find these work well, and not only that, they're really cheap as well. Um, But yeah, ideally, I think for probably a full-size female, um, you're probably looking at a 12-inch by 12-inch by 18-inch high enclosure. Um, if you're wanting to breed, then maybe even bigger, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you how to breed these guys, as I've not done it myself. Um, but yeah, I hope that was helpful, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's video guys, um, if there's anything I've missed out or any questions then please uh, just drop them down in the comments um, and I'll do my best to answer you. Um, but yeah if you did like today's video please give us a thumbs up and please consider giving us a subscribe and yeah see you in the next one.